here to do a little promo for my first solo game book, Dwarven Vengeance. Um, this is a it's in the style of fighting fantasy, but it doesn't use the fighting fantasy game books. It's not attributed with fighting fantasy. I'm just using that as a reference for you so you know what sort of a book it is. Um, like here you can see there's a number of entries, numbered entries on the various pages, at the bottom of which you've got instructions to turn to another page to continue the story, or it'll give you options, or like down the bottom here, you can see there's uh, a monster to fight. Um, and basically it's usual pattern, a few little bits of art in there, you choose your own path through this particular adventure, fighting your way to the end and hopefully to final victory, or possibly being killed by the monsters that are in there. This game book doesn't have any um, what I call lame dead ends. There's no, no places where you just make a wrong choice and then have to start the book again. You can make a wrong choice, but that wrong choice would put you up against a monster that's too strong for you, and you would still have a chance of winning through that fight if you're lucky with your dice rolls. That's the worst case scenario. So, as part of this promo, I thought I'd read the back cover and then perhaps the first couple of entries in here. So, here's the back cover blurb. You've lost your home, your family and your future. When you woke to find a dragon smashing through the gates of the underhome and goblins swarming in the corridors, your first thoughts were of survival. Then the anger came, and the thirst for revenge and the need to get your home back. And so starts the quest to find the Dragon Bane, a mystical item that is your only hope to defeat the dragon. Dwarven Vengeance is a game book where you play the hero and choose the path to take. You decide which monsters to fight and how to win back all that you have lost. So that's the back cover blurb. I thought I'd show you... Um, there's a table here of items that you can find along your way. It's basically weapons and armour. And you can see that's multi-column table there. That's because each weapon affects your different statistics. Um, so like this first column shows your strength changes, then your speed changes, and changes to your toughness if you're using items such as armour down the bottom. So you can see it's got more stats than the old fighting fantasy books used to have. Um, so uh, here's... Here's the first entry, entry number one. You turn over in your bed. It's warm and comfortable, but something has disturbed you. A moment passes before you realise what it was. A noise, like dwarves screaming and shouting. You throw back the covers and race to the door of your bedchamber. Snapping the door wide, you're astonished at the volume of the noise. Normally, the chambers of the underhome are quiet, with the only sounds being the occasional whisper of dwarf voices and the ring of hammers at work. Yet now you can hear a huge roaring, its bass so deep that the very rock beneath your feet is vibrating. You can hear dwarvish screams. Go to entry 309. So I'll scoot through to 309. And I've got too far. You can make out the sound of clashing arms amidst the noise. The alarm gong is sounding too. Loudly and rapidly, its clanging toll is calling all able-bodied dwarves to arms. A dwarf, one of your fellow guard dwarves, rushes along the corridor wearing only his undergarments and carrying a sword. What is it? What's happening? You shout after him. He calls over his shoulder to you. I have no idea. And he disappears around the corner. You are standing in your undergarments. Your clothes, armour and weapons lay beside the bed. If you want to spend time equipping yourself, go to 341. If you think it's better to know what you're facing first, go to 152. So there you go. With the second entry, you get your first choice. Um, and there are 401 entries in here and multiple paths to victory or disaster. Search for the Dragon's Bane. Bring it back to the underhome, defeat the enemies, and win your home back. Thank you.